What is everyone going to think when you start this new thing you want to start? This is terrifying, right? Wrong! In this video, I'm gonna explain my failure seeking technique and why I think failure is the best thing that can happen to you. What's going on everybody? My name is Mitya and with my digital product agency I help Silicon Valley startups and global businesses create more than 100 software products. On this channel I'm sharing my experience every week to help you better navigate the technology business. Subscribe for the journey! It's important to be willing to face failure at any time. This is the technique I'm following in all of my projects. It doesn't have to be a new separate business. Any product you want to try building, any procedure at the firm you're working for, any initiative, it can be anything. The technique is simply this. You should be willing to fail often, fail quickly and fail hard. Why fail often? You should never stop learning. Counterintuitively, there is often not much to learn from success because it can be random. Mark Zuckerberg became a millionaire by the age of 23. And yes, he's brilliant, but is he that brilliant? Like, is he a million times smarter than you or me? Of course not. 99% of his success is just luck and circumstance, which means that there is not much you can take from his journey and apply to yours. The world is changing all the time. If you never fail, it probably means you're doing something very old school. But even then, Take a look at restaurants, for example. It is such a traditional industry, but they change everything constantly. They change the menus, they change the branding, they change the names, because consumers evolve, markets evolve, and you should evolve as well. Oftentimes, success is in the iterations, not in the perfection. We all have limited time on this planet, so the more tries you take, the quicker you will find that thing you might want to perfect. Why fail quickly? If you're not ashamed of your product, it probably means you released it far too late. This maxim is usually applied to the technology industry, but I think it's fair to apply it much more broadly. Let's say you want to try a new procedure at work. What are the second order effects of you implementing it? Whatever you imagine in your head, the results are gonna be different in real life. So the only viable way to learn is to try early, fail quickly, modify accordingly and move on. Learning by shipping. You shouldn't waste time perfecting something nobody wants. I've seen countless times how people create those pixel-perfect websites or mobile apps where every little button, every tiny shadow is just right. But so what if the product has zero customers? What I do is I spend more time iterating and the perfection comes naturally. When I started this YouTube channel, everything in my videos was horrible and I knew it, but I also had zero subscribers, so I decided to go for it anyway. Then step by step, I started improving audio quality, video, structure, lighting and things like that. And the result is you're watching this video now. It's still really bad, but a lot better than before. If I had strived for perfection and wanted to figure out everything first, I would have never started this channel at all. Get in the habit of failing and reinventing yourself and whatever you're working on all the time. You will grow thick skin this way and failure won't even feel like failure at all. Why fail hard? Go ambitious and fail hard. If you didn't fail hard, it probably means you didn't go ambitious enough. This is something I have yet to internalize myself, but we all need to set bigger goals in life. The universe is forgiving. I mean, think about it. What exactly is the worst case scenario? Realistically, how much can you lose? We're not hunter-gatherers anymore, so most likely you're not physically in danger. Our primitive brain is telling us to be conservative, because that's what used to be necessary, but maybe it's not that crucial anymore. Normalize failure for yourself. Avoid total financial ruin, too much debt and physical danger, but go for it. If your work is online, it's easier to fail often quickly and hard, because there is no real-world physical barriers involved. In this video, I explain how software is built in simple terms. This is something everybody has to understand these days. Can you remember a failure you are proud of overcoming? Please describe it in the comments down below and please don't fail to smash the like button to help me spread this video. See ya!